Hello collectors, Qualtran here with my first statue review. I've been a fan of Spider-Man for as long as I can remember. I used to wake up early in the morning and watch the animated series on Fox Kids. Although I did not read the comics often when growing up. I've started to continue reading as much of the Amazing Spider-Man and other Spider-Man related comics very recently due to being on Statue Talk. As many kids back in the days, I wanted to grow up and be Spider-Man. Spider-Man has always been a special superhero to me being the puny, socially awkward, nerdy kid in school with a few good friends. He was someone I could relate to. Marvel released the debut of the symbiote costume in The Amazing Spider-Man 252 in May of 1984. At that time, we didn't know how he got the costume. We later found out in December with the release of Secret Wars number 8. In this issue, Spider-Man looks to repair his suit after a battle. Hulk lets him know that he has a device that could fix his suit with ease. While looking for the device, Peter Parker stumbles upon a black organic matter which attached itself to his hand. The organic matter eventually devours his entire body, making him have the new black symbiote suit. The suit gave Spider-Man enhanced powers such as being able to change his shape at will along with organic webbing. Later, Spider-Man finds out that the symbiote is alive and is trying to bond with him forever. Spider-Man asks Mr. Fantastic to help him get the alien suit off. Mr. Fantastic eventually gets the symbiote off him by using a sonic wave gun. Unfortunately, the symbiote escapes and attaches itself to Peter again. Soon after, Spider-Man goes to the iconic bell tower where he eventually gets the suit off him. The symbiote then later attaches to Eddie Brock, turning him into the iconic Venom that we all know. The symbiote costume Spider-Man has been a huge fan favorite as it brings something different. First off, let's start from the beginning with the amazing art on the box. When unboxing the initial brown box, I wasn't aware that I was going to be in for a nice treat. I quickly discovered how amazing the actual box was. There is so much going on with that box that it's a shame there isn't a video all by itself. Though, I guess I could make one if I really wanted to. The box has a picture of the statue along with the collage of the symbiote costume from the comic books. The art on the box brings out the comic book feel that is quite unique. I felt like there was a little mishap due to there not being a little bit of blue on the art box, which you'll understand when we get deeper into the review. Unfortunately, there was no such thing as an exclusive version of this statue. Everything that you got was standard, so you weren't given the option to switch out a portrait nor a hand. I would have generally liked an additional hand with web shooting from the top, somewhat like the one given on the exclusive version of The Amazing Spider-Man. Sideshow has done something different when it comes to the paint on this statue. The girder on the base is now more of a brown tone, giving it an older look. At the bottom of the girder, the paint starts to transition into an orange closer to the bottom of the base, showing that it's heating up from the explosion. The paint on the base explosion has also been revamped. The top of the fire is more of a lighter orange on the lines with a hint of yellow. As you follow the fire down, the color becomes more orange into a smoky color. I think the revamp of the explosion from Sideshow's previous body is good, but it's still not great. Now, moving up to Spider-Man himself. The sculpt on Spider-Man is literally amazing. The sculpt really shows the physique of Spider-Man's figure. Even though you can't really tell, his facial expression gives me a little bit of feeling that he's a bit angry. Spidey looks like he's prepared to beat up some bad guy scum. He's especially ready to pummel Green Goblin if he's the cause of the explosion. Before receiving this Spidey, I only had the J. Scott Campbell Spider-Man statue so getting this is a really huge upgrade to my collection. The paint between the two are extremely different. I think the symbiote costume paint is better because the full body only has three colors, which are black with blue shading and white for the logo, compared to the original red, blue with black shading and lining. You can see a lot of the veins on the costume as it's an organic suit and not a cloth one. At first, I didn't like the veins, but eventually it grew on me. As a new collector like me, you won't notice the veins until you get up close and personal. So having the veins is a good touch, especially going back to the roots of the symbiote costume. Just like Joe says, it's the finer details that separates a good statue from a great statue. 
the complete quality of the symbiote Spider-Man is exceptional. At first, with the dynamic pose, you feel like the statue will fall over or it isn't stable. I can assure you that it's secure, but still a fragile statue. I think it would make collectors more secure if the bottom of the girder was magnet like the arm was. In the end, as long as someone doesn't drive their car into your collection loop, you'll be okay. The Spider-Man Symbiote costume premium format is priced at $469.99 with an addition size of $1,250. The collectability for this piece is a bit better than the Amazing Spider-Man as that piece has a total addition size of $7,500. I think the value of this piece will go up slightly but not extraordinarily like some of the other Sideshow Spider statues like the Iron Spider. With their price being $470. I felt that it was on the border of a fairly priced piece. I think if there was an exclusive hand like I wanted, then it would be perfect. Currently, all three versions of the Spider-Mans are sold out, but don't lose hope yet, as you might be able to grab one if you join the waitlist. Now, I know you're wondering, does the statue meet my expectations? I think the statue is extremely unique from any of the other Symbiote Spider statues out there. As a beginner to collecting, this is by far my favorite piece in my collection. The statue does have some minor paint issues and only decent collectability, but I would definitely recommend it to any Spider-Man fans. As a Spider-Man fan, I have to be honest, and it pains for me to say it, but I'm giving this statue a bit short of perfection, with an amazing final review score of 4.5 out of 5. I hope you enjoyed this review of this Spider-Man Symbiote Costume Premium Format figure from Sideshow Collectibles, and if you did, Check out our show called Statue Talk, where we shared our thoughts on our latest statue previews, pre-orders, and updates to our collection. Check out our website, statuereview.com, where you can check out a full gallery of this statue as well as my written review. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all of our latest statue reviews. This has been Kwong Tran for Statue Review. Thanks for watching.